We are back guys with episode two of 50 Shades of Chicken. Okay guys, so we are back for episode two, chapter two of 50 Shades of Chicken. So today we're making cherry popping poulet and I'm going to read you the interlude and then we'll get into the recipe. Vanilla's all right once or twice, but we can't keep that up, he says. My subconscious hides her eyes. He's way out of my league. A man like him could never get excited about chicken. How could I think I might ever be what he craves? What does a man like him crave anyway? He fixes me suddenly with a predatory stare. We're going to remedy this situation right now. What situation, I ask, alarmed? Your situation. You're utterly unseasoned. I'm contemplating all of these cuisines with you when you've never been prepared with anything, it seems. He cocks his head to the side. Paired? My inner goddess pulls her head from underneath her wing. I'm going to make dinner with you right now, and we'll begin with something sweet, soft, and juicy. Holy cow. I thought you didn't make dinner, I say, my heart pounding. I thought you just cooked, um, hard. I hear his stomach growl deeply, the effects of which travel all the way to the tail at the base of my cavity. Don't think I'm getting all hearts and flowers on you, chicken. This is a step in a process, a process that I think will make a superb finish. I hope you'll think so too. I cluck low with anticipation. His stomach growls again. Chicken, will you please stop clucking? It's very distracting. He lays me face down and starts to drizzle my back and thighs with oil. Are you sure you wanna do this? He says gently. Yes, I beg. Oh, yes. I'm going to cook you now, Miss Hen, he mutters as he opens the door of the oven. He slides me in. Beneath me is a bed of wet, dark, pitted cherries. The dry heat takes me into his sudden embrace, and my juices flow freely over the torn fruit. I never thought it would feel like this. I never imagined it could be this good. Today we are making roasted chicken with cherries and herbs. We need one pound of dark pitted sweet cherries, coarse salt, pepper, olive oil, rosemary, lemon, and a four pound chicken, cleaned and patted dry with my twitchy palm. Start off by placing Miss Hen in a bowl and cover her with salt and pepper on both sides including the cavity. Cover her flesh with sprigs of herbs and place some deep inside as well. Tear foil from its packet and cover the outer rim tightly. Refrigerate for at least one hour. Set the stove to 400 Light a candle of your choice and pour some wine while we wait for Miss Hen to mature a bit. Miss Hen is finally ready for us to get hot and steamy. Place your cherries in the bottom of the pan and toss with olive oil and salt. Add a rack above the cherries, remove the herbs, and place Miss Hen stomach side down and rub her back and thighs with a tablespoon of oil. Place her in the oven for 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, remove her from the oven and flip her over by sticking a wooden spoon 
inside and turning. She wasn't ready for the big M, so I used the handle and laid her on her back. Drizzle some more oil on her breasts and massage before placing back in the oven for another 55 minutes. I love the color of your pink skin, Miss Hen. And there she is, guys, in all her glory, skin so crispy and brown, it made my mouth water. Well, it seems, guys, that Mr. Blades is over the vanilla and is working on to more flavorful recipes. This recipe really was delicious. The chicken came out super juicy and the subtle, slight cherry flavor was absolutely delicious. We just coupled it with some garlic risotto that we got from Walmart and I put the cherries on the side and it said to serve the lemon wedges as well, which I squeezed over the top and it was the perfect complement to this chicken. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below and let me know what you thought of this month's edition of 50 Shades of Chicken. And next month, it seems that Mr. Blades is starting to focus on each individual body part. And next time, it's her soft and perky 